Hey guys, it's Dennis from Our Dream Homestead. And today I'm going to show you a, a chicken coop we bought that we're going to use for a, a temporary bird aviary. Like we got some rescued birds and until we build a permanent one we thought we'd get one of these and set it up for the birds and they can have some more room in there. They say it's a chicken coop but you can use it for all kinds of small animals. So let's take a look at it. So there it is. It's a paw hut chicken coop and it comes in three boxes actually they delivered it three different times so we first got that big one there and then these other couple came later but all the parts are in here you're gonna need it's I think it's about 20 feet long it's not exact so I'll just say 20 feet six feet high and about eight feet wide so a lot of pipes in there there's the like that chicken wire. And then there's a bunch of connections here and wire and ties and stuff like that. They say you can even use it as a, like a, a dog runner kennel but I think it'd be a little weak for that. She probably could get out of it. <laughs> yeah we're gonna start working on this and we'll film it as we go guys and then we'll see how it looks when it's all up. I took some of the parts out. It's good to take them out and and see what you have. Everything seems to be in order here. There's a parts list there. Pipes are all out. The chicken wire. And there's some more things in there. So this morning, yeah, the shade was out there. There's our rescued birds. We want to put them in there. They're waiting patiently. So somewhere right in this area. Oh, I got the bottom frame down. Look at that. That's going to be a nice size. And it's going to be six foot high, so it's going to be very spacious for those birds. Yeah. Still lots to do, though. Yeah, look at this now. Starting to take shape. It's a nice size. I'm really impressed. It's going to be nice and heavy too, but you can put the stakes in the ground or you could also screw this to to a wood base. But yeah, it's looking good. Now I have the complete frame up. I have to hang the gate here in the middle. That takes a little bit of work. Probably not going to get the netting on today. It's getting later in the day. So I'll just finish that gate. And then tomorrow I'll get the netting on and... Hopefully the birds can start enjoying it. Yeah, I'm working on the gate now. That gate's taking me a lot longer than it did to put this up. Because then I have to put a level on these for the gate. I had them out of whack at the bottom. Then there I'm going to have to line up those the hinges. But then the latch too. To lock it. So just about finished for tonight. I'm not going to finish it. And the flies and are getting nasty and mosquitoes, so I'm going to pack it in for the day here right away. So I'm done for tonight, guys. I got it all up and I got the gate installed. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's looking really good. Look at this. Got the gate all up. Got the latch. Right on. Now tomorrow my wife and I will put the net over. Put that uh, chicken wire. Yeah, the birds are really going to love that. That's a nice size, guys. Yeah, it's about 20 feet and it's by 9 feet wide. I measured it's not 8 feet. And an easy 6 feet high. Like really good. Okay, tomorrow we'll get that uh, chicken wire over and hopefully the birds can go in. We might have to do a little modification because there's some gaps here. And we have a couple smaller birds that could get through this. So we'll have to do some modification. Maybe we pull some of the chicken wire up to here and then attach it to this. Like when we're not in. When we're in there, then, you know, we're, we're sitting near the door here. But when we're not around... 
maybe pull something over and come down and tie it to the other bar there. Okay, see you tomorrow guys. Okay, it's the next day guys. And today we're gonna install the, the chicken wire over the, the chicken run or coop. And two people is probably needed for a job like this, so there's my helper, it's my wife Kulika. Hi. And there's Cassie, you seen her yesterday. Yeah, it wouldn't be good for a dog run, not, not for a dog that size. Maybe a little one or a cat. But uh, we're gonna put our rescued birds in there. So yeah, we're gonna try to get the net on there now and hopefully it goes smoothly, I don't know, we'll see. We've got a big roll of wire there to attach it to the poles. So she's cutting some pieces. Use one as a temp. <laughs> well, we kind of got one side on. It's not really attached, and we got to cut it from the roll there after. But uh, slowly but surely. Oh, guys, we got one done. <laughs> Probably can't see it. Yeah, it's quite transparent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we just got one one panel. There, you can see that now. So we got a little bit of work to do yet. It might not even get done tonight. This might be a three-day job. We're not just working on this. There's other things we're doing. We just moved in in the homestead, so we're still organizing inside. And and then there's other projects. Our bed, we're still trying to get together. So, and then working on this and we got time. So if we get it done today, you'll see it the finished product. Otherwise I'll say, hey guys, it's a new day now. We're, we're finishing up. So guys, it's the third day now. We didn't finish it last night. And finally we're finished. She's just doing some loose ends there and then we got to just cut the end and we're done. So it probably took about six hours in total you know something like that like a couple hours each day because we're doing other things too so we're not just doing the chicken coop a whole bunch of things on the go at the same time so it's and then she's going to decorate it inside put some tree stumps and some perches and all kinds of surprises for the birds they're going to love it in there so i wanted to mention too we have another channel called our pets and us and that's where the birds are featured if you're interested i'll put the link below and then you can see more about the, the birds that we rescued. If not, just stay here and we'll keep the videos coming as we can. So thanks for watching and if you're new here, please subscribe. We'd love to have you on the channel. So that's it. That's the, the Paw Hut chicken coop that we're going to use for like a bird aviary for our rescued birds. So see you in the next one, guys.